So while today didn't prove nearly as interesting lore-wise as the past few days, there have been some new videos released that contain some important and useful information that we will be going over here today. And while we haven't gotten any closer to discovering the identity of Xi, we did learn that all the people who have been cloned are still alive. However, without any more stalling, let's move on to the lore. To begin with, the Clone VPN website has been updated to include their partners, which includes all the YouTubers that we have seen cloned so far, along with Joe Kane. Unfortunately, as I'm writing this, I'm not sure if that means he has accepted the sponsorship or not, but we'll get back to that in a second. The website includes a link to all these YouTubers' channels, and also this is important to the lore at all, but I managed to get these screenshots showing Squarespace stock images, so like I said, not important, but I do find it funny that it's a Squarespace website. Anyways, let's talk about Joe Kane. He is the biggest mystery right now as of writing this, as he posted this on his community page asking his viewers if he should get a VPN or not. So unfortunately, it is within the realm of possibility that Joe did in fact buy clone VPN and may get replaced. Now the good news is that he does not have an image on the Clone VPN website partners page, which still gives me hope that he didn't accept the sponsorship, but honestly we won't know until he posts another video. Moving on, Johnny Razor held a live stream that was similar to the failure live stream in the sense that it had no plot relevance, unfortunately. Other than a few ominous lines, there wasn't much that we learned from that live stream. Something big that did happen during the live stream is that the real Johnny Razor was confirmed to be alive and hiding from the clone by playing dead. You guys called me out on this in my last video by saying that he had an object covering his chest from being shot, and this confirms that fact. However, of course, at the current moment, we don't know if, if or how he's going to escape, so we kind of just have to wait. And moving on to our last point, each of the channels that had clones on them posted a new video about why you should get clone VPN. And there are a couple of important things we can take away from these videos. In the case of Bundun, Failure, and Royal Pair, the clones appear to have taken their real versions of themselves hostage and are forcing them to create content unwillingly on their channels. Bundun is the most obvious and extreme case of this, with Bundun literally being wrapped up in a chair, but the other channels have something similar if you pay attention. Now, Dano's channel is a bit of a different situation, as Dano himself doesn't have a clone and still mostly has control over his channel. However, the clone of Riggy appears to be manipulating Dano into posting the content that XI wants him to post without much of a fuss. Finally is the case of Johnny Razor's clone, who seems to be by far the most powerful of the clones as it seems to be able to function just fine without the presence of the original Johnny, unlike the rest of the clones. However, of course, this could also be because this clone seems to be the most carefree of all the clones, so who knows. One final thing to mention is that each of these videos has a code at the end of it, which we have deciphered down to this. However, unfortunately this code isn't working, meaning that either the code is simply broken or that there is more information required, most likely from Joe's video. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys, and I hope to see you in the next video and get closer to solving this mystery.